Residents and house owners along the Itoku Road in Abeokuta have complained about the demolition of houses for the road expansion along the area. They complain that the government has gone too far by planning to construct a six-lane road in the ancient community where there are historical buildings. TVC News Ogun State correspondent Kazim Olowe reports. Itoku Shodeka Road is arguably one of the oldest roads in Nigeria. The road links Abeokuta city center to the ancient Ulumo Rock, Itoku Market and Ajita Adun. Recently, Ogun State government embarked on the demolition of buildings along the road in order to expand it from a two-lane road to six lanes, but residents fought this approach. Some even claim that the state governor embarked on the expansion just to score political points against Senator Olamile Kwadiola, whose Matana family compound was located by the roadside. His Matana uh, family home is here in this compound, Kenta, and he happens to be a politician. So I had the call that the place was about to be demolished. For my own opinion about this demolition, this is a tourist center. At least there should be some uh, ancient uh, buildings that we indicate, even if the tourists are coming. We used to we used to have old Bromley in southeast London, and we have new Bromley. It should be a step of the time. If you want to do any any six lanes, five lanes, twelve lanes, it shouldn't be within. The, the place that has been before the birth of anybody that anybody can just say, okay, this road, the trunk road was built by the, the colonial masters. They knew what they were doing. Why didn't they extend it to 100 lanes then? While justifying the position of the government, the Commissioner for Works and Infrastructure Development in the state, Olami Leko Adigbite, said the notification for the road expansion had been served since 2013. We've had different suggestions as to the solution to that road. And um, we also thought of that. Let's do a four-lane road. Even there was a time we said, let's leave it as a two-lane road. So we realized that there's no point. It's running away from the problem if we just say, okay, we want to make it one way or we want to make it four lanes. If you create two lanes on the other side, people who live on these streets do not have where to park their vehicles. So they're going to park on one side of the road and then create a problem again. Because the moment you have four lanes and people park on this side and on that side, it comes back to the face me and face you road. Mm -hmm. So we decided that, look, let's take the bull by the horn and go back to the six lanes. That's about the six lanes. On the compensation of the affected families, Adigbite said it is an ongoing process and that many of them have been captured in the government's plan. We gave them money. This was not compensation. This was not on human ground. Go and rent another house. Mm -hmm. Yes, and we actually rented houses for people. Another. So they could relocate first, even before demolition started. This we did. Then, they, of course, people are now collecting their compensation. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abel Kutaogun State.